Want your kisses in the morning light Wanna be next to you every night No, I shouldn't love you, but I might Cause your lips, they taste like cherry wine You're no good for me so Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial So first thing we're gonna do is open up our Fonto app And click on that square image so once you get in this square image, we're gonna customize the size. It's gonna be 2560 by 1440. And once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and take our YouTube banner template. I suggest you have a template for this um, tutorial, just so that you know that you're actually sizing it up right and you won't have to go back and make adjustments so that it will fit to your channel. So once you do that, you're just gonna size it up, make sure that it fits correctly. You're gonna delete that and then save the regular white background that you made. Or you can make it in any color you want. I just chose white because this that's how it comes. So once you do that, you're gonna open up another picture and you're gonna customize that size to 2560 by 423. So this is gonna be a real thin line and this is gonna be the actual channel banner that's gonna go from the phone screens to the tablets to the computer screens and all about. So now for a background, we're gonna go into our We Harder app and I will leave the apps in the description bar below as well. I search for Tumblr backgrounds just because it's easier for me to find what I'm looking for, something creative but simple in the same manner. So after I chose the picture, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go back into the Fonto app and I'm gonna line that picture that I chose up with the, the thin banner that I made and choose which part of the picture I actually wanna be on the banner. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and save that photo. And then I'm gonna take the photo that I saved and I'm gonna open that photo in Facetune and I'm just gonna defocus the background a little bit just because I love the balloons and I want them to pop, but I don't want the balloons to overshadow what I'm actually putting on the banner itself. So now that we saved that photo, we're gonna go back into our Fonto app. And first we're gonna open up that white image that we saved earlier, which is the big banner, the TV size. And we're gonna then take our thin banner that's gonna be the actual banner that we're gonna use. And we're gonna take that YouTube template one more time, just to make sure that everything lines up perfectly to where it needs to be. So once you have everything lined up perfectly, you can go ahead and delete the template and then you're just going to save that image so that the channel banner is attached to the white image now. So once you do that, you're just going to reopen that image all together and this is where we get creative guys. So first I'm going to go ahead and add text. For the text, I put my channel name which is Dion the Beauty and I just played around with some fonts. I think I went through about almost all the fonts just to find a font that I kind of liked. I didn't feel like going searching on the internet to find a font. So I just went with what they had there. It a little bigger, center it, and then play with the coloring a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in what my channel is gonna be about. So since my channel is beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, then that's what I'm gonna add. Um, I didn't put like vlogs or editing, editing or anything like that because I just wanted to keep it simple. You don't want to overpower the text 
just want to give him a quick synopsis of what you're doing. After I fix the text up and add in the little extra um, designs or whatever the case is, I'm just go go ahead and lay it, put that right underneath my name, and then that's where I want it to sit. So now I'm gonna go into my photos and I'm gonna take my logo that I have like everywhere on my channel is on my watermark and it's my profile picture and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my banner as well so I like to either tilt them both outward or tilt them inward just because of the fact that you know I want them to like go in like the opposite directions from each other So you can add like a subscribe button or anything extra glitz and glam that you want to add on it. I didn't do anything on that on this channel banner, but just because I wanted a simple one to just go along with the one that I already have as well. And I usually space out my words just because when they're in person, they're kind of clumped in together and I want people to actually be able to see and read what it's saying. So I did eventually like change the lettering a little bit and like play with the colors just because I wanted the color to pop and not hide in with the banner. And I did later on go back in as well and move the pictures in a little bit more just because I want them to actually pop. So this, guys, this is the final banner. This is what I did. And I'm actually loving it because it's very simple and very elegant. 